Hello, hello, Edson Oliveira here. This is the DNN Tip of the Week, and today we will be talking about security. We'll be talking about SSL certificates and how to activate SSL on your DNN website. Now, we're gonna, not going to be covering how you install that on the server or how your hosting provider will activate that in your control panel. You should handle that. You should deal with that with your hosting provider or your technical department. What we're going to be focusing today is how you can activate within DNN once the certificate has been installed on the server. And again, various different ways of doing that depending on your hosting provider, depending on their processes, depending on your, maybe on your IT department. But the point is this, with the state of the web right now, Google is starting to penalize sites that don't have SSL activated, don't have secure pages activated throughout the entire website. So SSL is starting, is becoming standard. It's not only for pages that will require credit card information, payment information, it's been required for your entire website. So you should pay attention to this tutorial and hopefully you're going to be able to activate SSL on your DNN website. Oh, and happy Halloween. Before I tell you about the DNN tip of the week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them. I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. Okay, so assuming that your hosting provider or your technical department has installed the SSL certificate on the website, on the server, now you have to activate that option on DNN itself. So here, here is a DNN 911 website that I'm running from my local system. I have installed a fake SSL certificate on my local system just, just to be able to demonstrate this, this tutorial, this video. Now, here's what happened when you don't have activated uh, yet SSL on your DNN. You can still access the site without HTTPS in the URL, but you can also type in S, there, type in HTTPS, and you can see now the pages will be accessible via HTTPS as well. Don't worry about the certificate error. It's just because I'm running my own fake certificate to demonstrate this tutorial. But in your case, this will be a green, uh, a green uh, box here identifying that your certificate is valid. So how can we make sure that whenever the site gets loaded, regardless if there is HTTPS or not on the URL, how can we ensure that it will always redirect to the HTTPS version, to the secure version? Well, that's the setting that you're going to be checking today. So I'm logged in as super user here and I'm going to go to settings, security. And from here, I'm going to go to more. And the first set of options under more is called SSL settings. The first setting is called SSL enabled. And we're going to have to check this. Now, by doing so, you will still be accessing without SSL. Now, here is the option that gets turned on when you activate SSL. You can go to the pages and from pages, you can go to the page settings of, let's say, home page, and then you can go to advanced and from here more. And then you can, you can now activate secure connection. You can say on. 
because now you have activated SSL globally on the site level. So you can come to the page and you can say, this page is accessible via a secure connection. Let's save this. Now, as you can see, it automatically redirected me to the HTTP version. If I try to do without HTTP, it will redirect to the HTTP versions, which is what we wanted. Now let's see what happens when we navigate on the website. We just, we just had secure page on the home page. Let's see the about us page. It still keeps the SSL because that's okay. That's fine. However, about us can be accessed without HTTPS because we didn't specify that about us has to be secure. So that's the reason why it can go either way. It can go with HTTPS or with HTTP. So we have to enforce this on about us as well. We can have to go to page settings and change it there too, you know, in about us settings. But let's not do that right now. I want actually to explain another setting there under security. And let's go to more and this SSL set. The second setting here is called SSL Enforce. Now, if this option is active, what will happen is this. Let's activate that and let's save. Let's go back here. Let's go back to the home page, which is secure because we have activated SSL for this page, but we haven't done that yet for about us. When you click on about us, you see it redirects automatically to the version without HTTPS. Long, long, long story short, because the way you know Google is penalizing pages that don't have SSL sites, pages that don't have SSL, I think that option there is not so much relevant because all pages on your site should be secure. So let's secure this page as well and make sure that it will redirect to the SSL version of that page. So let's go there and let's go up to more secure, save this. And now, as you're going to see, whenever I navigate to about us, it will redirect automatically to the HTTPS. Now you may ask me, Ederson, I have a lot of pages on my DNN website. If I need to have them all uh, switch to SSL enabled, do I have to go page by page by page? Well, if you use the, the interface, yes, you have. However, I'm going to provide a little script and I love little scripts like this. You have to be careful. You're going to be messing around directly with the database. So I usually recommend a backup, but I'm going to provide a little SQL script that will update, will set all pages on your website as secure. So you can do all of them at once. You can go to settings and then you can go to SQL console. And then here is the little script. We're going to update all tabs, the pages on the site, and you can set them all as as secure equals to one, which means as secure is true. They are all secured pages. Now we're going to run the script. That's that's fine. No data to be returned. That's fine. Now, after changing something in the database, you should come to settings servers. You should clear cache. And you should also restart application to make sure that everything has been cleared up. So right now, what we did is we set all pages on the site, which doesn't have too many, but in your case, you may have all pages on this website are now set as secure. So that's how you activate SSL certificate on your DNN website. And by the way, before I forget, I'm going to share a Stack Overflow answer here that will show you how you can activate SSL on your local system so you can try those things so you can test this out okay so it will be in the video notes the link to this page thank you very much bye for now if you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone subscribe